It's all about the handle. Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs, and I know so many of you know me as Glenda the Good Stitch. You know, innovation is the driving force behind our business, SureFit Designs, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to our newest essential tool. It's called the Line Drafter. Whether you are a quilter, a crafter, or a garment seamstress, I know you're absolutely going to love this because it has a permanently attached handle. If you happen to be working on a vertical surface, which I know isn't common for a lot of us, but you can see that with this handle, you get a firm grip, you can place it where need be, and then draw your designated line. Some of you have worked with the suction cup handles. They're big, they're obtrusive, and sometimes they release just at that critical point when you don't want them to. So let's go down to a horizontal table surface and see all the different features and the benefits to you in your crafting, quilting, and sewing projects. The line drafter is 24 inches long by 6 inches wide. Let's take a look at some of the designations on the line drafter. On one long edge and on one short edge, you are going to see the imperial markings being the inch markings. And for our international customers, we haven't forgotten you, you're going to see the metric rule on one long edge and on one short edge. So we have centimeters and millimeters. You're also going to see a long dashed pink line on the inside of that long edge and on this long edge another long dashed pink line. Now that pink line is designating our seam allowances. So on the long edges these seam allowances are 5 eighths of an inch wide or 1.6 centimeters, which is, of course, 16 millimeters. On this short edge, you're going to see a 3 8 inch wide seam allowance marking, which is one centimeter. And on this short edge, you will see a half inch wide seam allowance marking, which is 1.3 centimeters or 13 millimeters. Let's take a look at how we can use this information now. Obviously, it's great for drawing the straight of grain markings and for drawing the long straight center front or center back markings on any pattern. And of course, what I'm showing you here right now is the Surefit Designs skirt front. And we do have curves on this pattern, and our original essential tool, of course, is the Surefit Designs Designing Stylus. Now, that was used for drawing the curved edges at the waistline and, of course, for drawing your hip curve. But when you start connecting a long distance, in this example, between your low or full hip measurement and your hemline, in come the line drafter. Because it is 24 inches long, it gives you a nice long straight edge for drawing that connection. And then, at this point, I will remind you that the Surefit Designs patterns are called strip-down patterns. That, that means they don't have any seam allowances on them. So, we want to add seam allowances so that we don't lose any of the ease that's allowed in the pattern. And, once again, of course, for doing the curved edges, you will be using the designing stylus, like this, to add on the 5 8 inch seam allowance because it's got the slots provided. But when it comes to one of these long edges, just pick up your line drafter, line up that long pink dotted line that's on the inside of the long straight edge, line it up with the line that you previously drew, and then you can add in your seam allowances very, very quickly. So it's great for um, adding seam allowances and of course connecting these long lines. Now we're going to go on and take a look at the bodice front. And I'll just move that pattern out of the way. And you'll see here the bodice front has I got some of the drawing already established. I did do the center front marking. We will add in the straight of grain marking like this. And of course the curved edges are done with the designing stylus tool, this one right here. Now, when it comes to adding in the waist fitting dart, 
that comes from your waist edge up to the apex. And of course, you can see that I've already pre-drawn quite a bit of this bodice front. One of the things that you're going to be using is one of our other templates. It's called the waist darts template. And you would use dart number one. It says bodice front dart. And you take this arrowhead and you place it on your apex position. And of course, then you need to line up the blue waist guideline at the, on the waist starts template with the waist guideline on the master pattern. But you can see how I kind of just gently move that. You don't want this template to go a little bit wonky on you. You want it really straight up and down and you want the center of that dart parallel to your center front or your straight of grain. So in come the line drafter. You are going to line up your cross mark for your apex and make sure that the ruler itself is totally parallel to the straight of grain or of course to the center front. And then what you will do is draw a light pencil line like this on the edge of the line drafter and that light pencil line is where you are now going to position the waist starts template in this fashion and this light pencil line will go straight down through the center of that waist start and where the waist start dips at the bottom that's the center of that dart and then you would draw in the tip of the dart and if you need to do any shifting up or down with the template, of course, the Sherford Designs instruction book tells you how to do that. Then you would draw in the tail of the dart like that. And then you take your template away and connect the side edges of the dart together. But by using the line drafter initially to establish that light pencil line down the center, it totally ensures that you've got that dart positioned properly and that it's parallel to the straight of grain or the center front. And of course to finish off this bodice front you would use the designing stylus and use the slightly curved lines that go like this to finish off the the center front and the bodice I should say the front bodice. Okay so now we're going to take a look at some of the cutting benefits that we can get with the line drafter. The line drafter is manufactured from a clear plastic material that's an eighth of an inch thick. And that means it's going to have a nice stable edge for cutting. And of course, with this handle, you can get a really good grip on the line drafter and placing it on your fabric and of course, a nice grip to hold it down. This is great for crafters and for quilters and you'll get your nice straight cut line when you use that nice firm edge. Now, another thing that you're going to see on the line drafter is that it has 45 degree angle lines on one side of it. And so those are there to help you make the true bias cut on any piece of fabric. And of course, you would cut at a 45 degree angle for making something like a bias binding. So how you will use this is to take the line drafter and take one of those 45 degree lines and line it up with the selvage of the fabric, which in this piece right that I've got on my table is this long edge here. And so again, holding down with the handle, you can cut on this line. That's gonna give you a 45 degree angle and I'll cut in the interior as well. So now you've got a perfect 45 degree cut on that piece of fabric. It didn't cut right through the entire edge there, but there. Now, if you want to do long strips, all you then need to do is line up the cut edge of that fabric with one of those inch markings or two inches wide and make another nice long cut. So it's a real handy tool for creating your true bias cuts on any kind of fabric. So please join us in celebrating the release of the newest essential tool by SureFit Designs. It's called the Line Drafter. Now that's a tool I can use.
To obtain the Surefit Designs line drafter, go to surefitdesigns.com Essential Tools. For international orders, see the destination links provided for a distributor in your area.